What's up guys, Paul here, and welcome to another trivia walkthrough episode of Fallout 4 on The, the School Zone. You got schooled, son. Been a while since you heard that little guy, hasn't it? I know, right? Well, I'm back with another fully narrated trivia walkthrough, which I normally do for whatever the main game I'm playing on the channel is. In this case, I still haven't finished the main storyline of Fallout 4 yet. So, my plan is to do that before Fallout 76 is fully released. For those few of you who are fans of my trivia walkthroughs over my building tutorials, Bless your heart, and I'm sorry it's been so long. Honestly, I wish these videos would get more views, but for a lot of people, Let's Play videos are like so 2014. I personally don't feel that way. I have so much fun with them, but that's kind of the reality of YouTube. If I had a hundred more Patreon supporters, I would just do these all day because I love playing the game and schooling factoids for you guys along the way. But nevertheless, I'm back and we're getting ready to fully take back Nuka World by commandeering the power plant and turning on the power. Anyway, once we turn on the power, I'll be able to unlock another building location as well, so I'm super stoked about that. Kate's walking by in the background. As you can see, I got her dressed in the silver shroud outfit, and she's uh, got her massive gauss rifle <laughs> at the ready. Anyway, if there's time, I'm also going to complete the Hubologist mission, since a lot of viewers have asked about that as well. I've also got a few perk points to spend, so we'll do that as well as go over and chat with Harvey, since I never actually did that at the end of the last episode. We'll see if everything has been turned right as rain over here. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already, throw a like on the video, and let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have four points to spend. Now, I've been looking over this list quite a bit, and I, I've got pretty much everything I really want, to be honest. So what I think I might do is pick up this ricochet perk. This looks really interesting, especially at the higher levels. I mentioned I wanted to pick this one up a few uh, episodes back. So I've got exactly, I think, the amount of points I need because we need one more point of luck. So let me go ahead and pick that up and then uh, pick up these three. Okay, this is gonna be kind of interesting. Okay, and then let's go over and talk to Harvey and see if he's got something to say. Is that him right there? Awesome. Where are your clothes? It's like a weight's been lifted off us. I swear I didn't take your clothes off. <laughs> Holy shit, boss. That was some reckoning you pulled off. Never thought I'd say it. But I sure am glad you ended up at Nuka World. That year we spent under those raiders won't be easy to forget. But I never even dreamed we'd be getting out of this with our freedom. We owe you so much. I don't even know where to begin. Besides saying thanks. Sweet. Don't worry, Harvey. You're welcome. Maybe now we can restore this place back to its former glory. A fair trading post with good people. And once word spreads about what you did here, no way any raiders are going to think about touching this place anytime soon. Used to work because the raiders awesome. Were... Now it's because I really want to make this place better. Hi. You really gave those raiders hell, boss. <laughs> I wonder if I can reverse pickpocket her and put clothes on her. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, I won't bother with that right now. Let's head over to the power plant. I guess I could probably activate this quest as well. Oh, it's already activated. Yep. Sweet. Okay, here we are. All right, I'm just going to take a quick swing around the place to make sure um make sure there's nothing to miss.
Rad rat pup. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's just sleeping over there. I don't need to kill him. Okay, I don't think there's anything really around here I need to see. So let's go ahead and head over to the entrance. Alright, let's do this. Hey, you are Kate. Yo, psst, hold. Yeah. I was like scouting ahead. We got a ghoul over there. Oh, we got a bunch of ghoul. Oh, that's a grenade situation right there. Let's see if we can get some cryo grenades. Ooh, it's a legendary. Awesome. <laughs> the noise set him off. Gotta love that penetrator perk. Oh, they're all coming out now. It's like the walking dead. Excellent. All right, you know what? I have the sensitivity set kind of low because of uh, my settlement building. So let me set that back to uh, regular and you'll also be able to see I have this on the very hard setting. All right, as you can see there, let's set the sensitivity up a little bit. Good, good. Okay, let's see what this guy's got. Eh. Give it to a settler. Skeleton was moving. <laughs> if you guys are sort of new to my uh, walkthroughs, I like to do a lot of looting. Hopefully that doesn't bother people too much. You know, good ways to save on buying more resources or building supplies. Also, sometimes they have some little decorations and stuff. Okay, let's go get Kate. Hey. Point out what you need. Come on. Get right on it. Kind of a big place. I'm 
I'm keeping an eye out for factoid opportunities as I roam. <laughs> Oh, I love being a stealth character. <laughs> oh, look at that, a Jangles. What's up, Jangles? Psst. Hmm? Grab that. Will do. Get that. I'll get it done. Okay, so we can go that way, we can go this way. Oh, same. I know I make the game look a little easy, but my character's such a badass. The only reason I don't play on survival is just because I love fast traveling. <laughs> I couldn't do without that. That's the one thing that turned me off from survival, but... Otherwise, I would. Too bad there's not something in between very hard and survival, like extreme or something. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's up these stairs. something grab that no problem get that yep I've got it all right I was wondering if I was gonna be able to give you guys any factoids in this episode but finally I think I have one here for you so see this bread box here right these are also called bread bins in England anyway most people nowadays just put their loaf in the fridge you know but there was a time where these things were very common, especially in the 1950s, 60s era, you know, before preservatives were put into commercial bread products. So bread going stale was a concern and it usually happened as a result of the starches in the bread crystallizing. The working theory was that uh, bread crystallizes faster in the fridge because of the cooler temperatures and lower humidity. For me, I just put my bread in the fridge and it, it seems to keep it just fine. But, uh, yep, that's where these, uh, jump behind. You're I knew you were going to say that, Kate. Uh-oh. I bet we disturbed a little Easter egg that was right here. A couple of uh, teddy bears with hard hats on or something. Oh, well. Look at that. Love being a stealth character. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know we were up here. Okay, so we're probably supposed to jump down there. Let me just check around the corner here and see what we got. Some more stim packs for my never ending supply of them. <laughs> As you can see from my gameplay, I very rarely need to use any stim packs, so. I've got like 
Yeah, 1,435. That's just insane. <laughs> okay, I think... Uh, you know what? I'm going to quick save here. I think we're just supposed to jump down here. Unless we've already been here. Oh, yeah, we did. We just went through that way instead of this way. Unless we've already been here before. Have we already been here before? Nope, it doesn't look familiar. Cool. New area. I think we're on the right track. Sometimes when you see things like microscope and you wonder why I'm not giving a factoid about it, it's because I've given factoids about a lot of this stuff in past episodes. So don't want to repeat anything. Oh, look at that. That's cute. <laughs> a sloth toy holding a Nuka-Cola quantum. Awesome. It's kind of a mini little Easter egg, sort of. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I bet that's a dude right there. Yep, show enough. Let's go this way first before we go back down. Okay, that's probably where we're supposed to go right there. Ooh, look at that dude. Awesome. That was fun. See what he's got. Oh, I keep getting these things. I don't really need them. See if we can squeeze back here without taking too many rads. anything from over there. Oh, look at that guy. He just walked right past Kate. That's crazy. Just, what are, what are you doing, Kate? You could have just shot him. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna just ignore this guy just like he's ignoring me. Okay, so let's see where this door goes. I think it might go back to... Um, yeah, I can open that one. I've got enough ranks for it. Nice. Couldn't have done it better myself. Yeah, it just goes back to this other room. Okay, that's cool. Got the XP, though. Okay, so we can go down or we can go up. Let's go up real quick. Okay, that's about it over here. So let's go ahead and hop down. Or we could just go down here. Let's see what's back here first. Body parts. Oh, there's another legendary I missed. Not doing so good on the cool legendary items. Haven't found a really great one in a while. That's okay. Sweet. Over to book. Wow. 
keeps going. Alright, let me see what's in here real quick. Oh, I got lucky there. Oh, look at that. X01 armor. Awesome. Excellent. Nice little stash here. Okay, well, I am going to pull the fusion core out of that and come back for that. I could just tell Kate to put it on, but I'll just come back for it. Okay, awesome. Well, let's swing on around here. Oh, look at that. see a, a dude up there. Let's snipe him real quick. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Let's keep rolling. It's too much fun. Definitely woke up some people in there. Cool, grab some plasma grenades. I was starting to get low on grenades. In fact, let me see how many I have left. I have one cryo grenade left, so let's go ahead and switch over to those. Keep rolling. We're going the right way. Okay, so it goes up or through this door. Let's just get 
key to do that real quick. Heads up. This better be worth it. Take a look. Yep, I've got it. No problem. Should have this unlocked in a jiffy. That was easy. How about a challenge next time? Waste in space. Oh, Kate. Ever the nag. <laughs> okay. Well, this thing was interesting. I think I might be able to give you a factoid about this. So, to me, this thing looks like a forklift. Uh, forklifts actually originated before World War I. Their development was accelerated as a result of the war, and by World War II, they were used to hoist military equipment onto trains and ships. It wasn't until the 1980s, however, that safety of the machine was considered, such as, you know, like center of gravity and more advanced hydraulics. It always amazes me when it comes to product design that the cost is usually factored over safety until, you know, the injuries start rolling in to facilitate changes. But I guess that's industry for you. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. I think we're going up. Keep going down and then going back up again. So it's got me a little confused, but I think this is the right way. And back down again. A look at that. Oh, that, that failed. Look at that. That is hilarious. Shoot him, Kate. What are you doing? Okay, we took a little damage there because he came up from behind me. You sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so let's heal some of those rads real quick. Got a couple of uh, mutant hound chops. Oh, I know what I should be eating right now. This is what I'll do, actually. Let me, uh, let me use a rat away. And then eat some squirrel stew. That's what I should have done earlier. Awesome. That should be good enough for now. Okay. So, down or this way? Let's see if, how far this goes. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so that's probably where we want to go, is up. So let's go down here first. Look at this thing. I wish that we had this available in our workshops. I mean, why couldn't they have just added that? And it's such a cool little piece there. Look at that. I bet that got blasted off of the shelf or something. Almost missed it, too. Perfect. 
Nuka power recipe. I think that might be the last one that I haven't collected. Awesome. Okay. I bet that opens it, but we'll just get Kate to do it. What you need? Think you can unlock that? I'm on it, Captain. Finally, a bit of a challenge. I'll see what I can do. Damn, what the These are always wrong? good settlement items to collect. Ah, so close. Guess I'm getting rusty. Oh, for the love of stupid lock. There you go. Nothing to it. Sweet. Good job, Kate. Oh, that's a good little stash there. All right, let's see what's on this computer. Meltdown. <laughs> so I think the second half of this note here is implying what is known as an NDA or a non-disclosure agreement. It's uh, meant to silence worker disclosure of private corporate information, you know? You probably hear that term in the news lately as Trump likes to have people sign NDAs. Here's an interesting factoid. California courts usually favor the worker in most lawsuits over the corporations above and beyond most other state judicial decisions, you know? For some reason, California seems to give more worker rights than most other states. All right, let's keep rolling. <laughs> Someone else noticed that uh, Nero was going haywire. <laughs> and if you guys see any uh, factoids I might have missed in any of these, you know, be sure to leave a comment down below in the after school club. Time and a fifth. <laughs> it's a pretty great deal. Whoa. <laughs> These guys were cheapskates. Usually it's either time and a half or double pay. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go ahead and hit up that ladder. See what's upstairs. Okay, we're back out again. Cool. So let me switch over to these, and then I'm gonna draw. Well, I'll give Kate a few things before I start. Psst. Need something? Chewing on some aid items. That should be good for now. Cool view. It's all rainy though. <laughs> See what's going on down this little pipe. Oh, awesome. Another little Easter egg. Look at that. That is funny. What is he doing? Hitting baseballs at this guy? Oh, that is great. I'm going to have to uh, save this for one of my naughty teddy bear episodes. <laughs> if you haven't seen those, I'll leave some links for them in the description. They're pretty funny. 
That is cool. Well, let me show you where it is on the map. So, I'm at the Nuka World Power Plant. Poor guy. <laughs> well, let me just take that Nuka Cola from you, though. <laughs> Alright, I love those little Easter eggs. Developers surely had too much fun with those. Oh, I see a marker right over there. We're going the right way. Okay, so we probably want to go down. Let's just see what's over here real quick. Probably nothing, but, you know, might as well just double check. Okay, let's head over there. There it is. There's the button. Alright, sweet. Well, let's check out what we got before we hit anything. <laughs> Hi there! I think that's Cappy. Oh, sweet. Where'd Kate go? Did I lose Kate? There you are. Hey. Yeah. See what you can do. No problem. Hmm. Looks doable. I'll give it to Troy. Wait, that's going to make for some good recipe items. Did you get it? She did. Oh, that was a good little stash there. Okay, before we turn this on, let's see what this says. Might be able to slip in a few extra cool factoids. Spooktacular. <laughs> well, there's a possible little factoid for you. So, they're talking about breakers here being tripped. So, that most likely means they're talking about circuit breakers. So, circuit breakers are actually an interesting device. Um, they're usually switches designed to protect both people and the local grid system from an accidental overload. So a circuit breaker will detect an electrical anomaly and then automatically switch off, unlike a fuse, which usually burns out and has to be replaced. Seems like a modern invention, but circuit breakers were actually invented by Thomas Edison, even though fuses became more popular for half a century. Most likely because they could make more money off fuses since you needed to replace them, you know, and buy more. Interestingly enough, Fallout 4 features both circuit breakers and fuses in the game, which was totally realistic for the period. Let's keep going. <laughs> Vomit on exposed wiring. Splash guards. Okay, well here's another cool little factoid. So, redacted here means a form of covering up sensitive information in a document. Uh, this happens most often in classified government documents, but can happen in corporate documents too. Like if this was printed out on paper, it's usually seen as uh, 
a blackened block over the information meant to be kept secret. I guess on these old monochrome screens, you know, they could just type out the word redacted. <laughs> also, PORV is actually an acronym for Pilot Operated Release Valve. <laughs> I don't know how the game developers expect the average game player to know what some of this stuff is, you know. But hey, good thing there's a school zone, right? <laughs> so PORV is meant to be a safety measure to release pressure in the event of an overload in a gas or liquid-filled machine. Sometimes this can be automatic, and other times it involves a hand crank. If any of you guys have seen my Far Cry 5 trivia walkthrough series, there are several missions where I had to release crank valves either to prevent an explosion or to start one. Okay, so we are about to flip the switch. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? Just in case they're, you know, it lights everything up really nicely. We want to see this on a clear night. So I'm going to sit in this chair until the weather clears, which for you guys will be just in a snap. <laughs> Let's see if four hours will do it. It did. Awesome. All right. That'll make for a, a nice little display, assuming there is one. Lights. Sweet! I knew there'd be some lights. Awesome. Oh, and fireworks. Killer. That might even make for a good thumbnail. Could add a few more colors. Oh, come on. That was pretty awesome, though. Okay, so looks like we completed. Oh, look at that. Everything in here is lit up as well. Awesome. Join yourself, Kate. Oh, look at that. I missed those. All right. So, my initial plan was to do this as a single video, but it turned out longer than expected. So, what I'm going to do is divide this into two half episodes this one and the one that'll be coming out tomorrow. So, you won't have to wait very long in this case. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll finish the Hubologist mission in the next episode, as well as some interesting new discoveries. Be sure to turn on that notification bell so you're alerted when the video goes live. And don't forget to throw a like on the video, always helps. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you tomorrow and stay smart.